Hi, welcome to Siemens NX12 video tutorial. I want to do that slide and tilt mechanism now in Siemens NX. And it doesn't matter which version of Siemens NX you have, you can do it the same way. Let's take a look. If we move that tilting part here, you see it slides along that slot and along the other slot. And I had to do it very similar to the Cartier version. So let's have fun with Siemens NX. Okay, I've created a new and empty assembly. Let's bring in the first part and that would be the guide plate. This one here. Okay. And of course it should be put at the origin and of course I want to fix it. Great. Now bring in the second part and that would be the tilting part. And this one. Okay. And I want to constrain it with just one constraint at the moment. So that would be yeah, it's hard to see. Maybe we can move it away. No, that doesn't work. No. So just press OK. Then go for assembly constraints and move it away. And now I want to use a touch between this surface and that surface here and confirm. Now for the other constraints I will need some sort of helpers. So for my helpers I want to use two planes. I need one plane inside this part and one plane inside that part. And I will need a line in both parts. So let's maybe hide the tilting part and go into the guide plate. So which surface I want to use? Let's check it out. I want to use yeah, maybe that surface and the plane on it. Okay. So go for home, go for a datum plane which should be defined by this with an offset and the offset should be zero. Then leave that part, go into the tilting part and I want to link in this plane. So go for assemblies with geometry linker and I want to bring in that datum plane here. If we have a later version of Siemens NX you don't have to go for the wave geometry linker it will be linked in automatically as soon as you select it. So that's the one and I need another plane now in this part so go for home, go for datum plane, and maybe just select this surface. Again, distance should be zero and confirm. Now go back to the assembly, back to the guide plate, and link in the plane from the tilting part, and that would be this one. So go for assembly, go for wave geometry linker, and bring in that plane here and confirm. Please note the original will be hidden. So I see only the linked in plane. Great. Now let's create the line and the point which I need in the guide plate. So go for line 
Human Arc Sphere Center. Maybe on this one. Confirm to another one. Again, Arc Ellipse Sphere Center. And maybe on this one. Confirm. Confirm. And then I need an intersection point between first the plane and then the curve like this and that gives me that point here so let's confirm this go back to our assembly and now go to the tilting part I will need another line and another point so let's see I think these are different bodies so I need a line which is centered here with that one here so let's see go for a line mm, go for a point and see which point we can get go for our ellipse center and that gives me this circle here that's okay with me and I could go for a direction in this case would be YC but the other way around so that would be maybe minus 50 for example no, that's too much so go for minus 30 yeah that's more like it and confirm now I need an intersection point between this plane and that line so go for point select the plane and then the line and that gives me that point there go back to assembly and maybe save it I will call this one slide and tilt yt for YouTube and let's confirm now I could hide the planes by going here and hide the datum planes great in order to make it work I need another line in the tilting part so go for the tilting part and I want to go for curves so I should be able to snap onto those points same here and over there and then from the midpoint to that midpoint and OK and that's for this part go back to our assembly and now I need a curve inside this one here so go for the guide plate and maybe hide this one okay I want to do a sketch on that surface so go for a sketch right on this surface the origin point doesn't really matter okay now I think these are three arcs so I will need three arcs let's start with one down snap just press alt maybe like that then there should be another one like this and the last one like that here you could of course project those edges into the sketch or you can just use the edges and they will be projected automatically doesn't really matter so this one should be coincident with that center point of that arc same on the other end so this point and that point should be coincident 
Now let's make this concentric. Let's go for this edge here. That edge. Yes, and this arc should be concentric. Same over here. So this edge and that arc should be concentric. Now that point should be somewhere on this arc. So that didn't work. Try once more. Like this. And also it should be on that arc here. Okay. And this would be concentric to that edge or I could go for two times tangency. That should do the same. So I could of course first trim. This should be removed, that should be removed. And if I use tangency, there is no need for a concentricity. So this should be tangent and this should be tangent as well. Great. So that's not really in the center. So maybe, just maybe, undo one of those tangencies, maybe this one, and go for concentricity. So select that edge here, select this arc and make it concentric. That's better. Yeah. Okay finish that sketch and let's make a composite curve of this one because it's not a spline and it will not work if you have just arcs. Okay, where is the composite curve? There you go. Select the curve and make sure those curves are joined and the original is hidden. So I don't know why the default is not yes but no but it is like it is so go for general for example and okay then it should work now go back to our assembly bring back that one and now I could add two constraints or there you go should be touch and maybe just maybe make sure those points are visible and make those two parts a little bit more transparent so it's easier to see where the points are. Maybe like that. So let's turn it like this. There is one point, okay. So go for constraint. This point here, that one. And this line should be touching. Apply. And over there, where is it? Let's turn it like this. There is a point just there, right there, yes. And this one should go onto that composite curve. Yeah, and that's a spline, so it will work. Confirm. And now maybe make them solid again. And if you hide the curves, the points and the constraints, and now go to assembly constraints and if you now move that part, it will tilt and slide as it should tilt and slide. Okay, and I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Hope it was helpful. So if you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. Would be very nice if you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.